Today I'm going to show you how to use Cowman's new plugin for Assimilate Scratch. I have Scratch installed on my MacBook Pro along with an AJA T-Tap feeding SDI to our Flanders monitor. Cowman is loaded on the separate machine. They're both connected to the same network. I have already installed the Cowman plugin for Scratch. There's another tutorial video that we've made that shows this process. In Scratch, you enter a project and then click on Tools. There will be a custom commands area with the name Cowman. You click on Cowman and it will open up Cowman for Scratch Pattern Generator. In Cowman, go to the Source tab, click on Find Source. Select Assimilate as the manufacturer and Scratch Pattern Generator as the plugin. Hit the search button and it will find the Scratch installation that's running on your local network. Click on the Assimilate Scratch Pattern Generator tab and click the Optimize button to run the Pattern Delay Optimizer. You can calibrate a LUT automatically for two monitors connected to Scratch, both the reference monitor and the GUI monitor connected to the computer with Cowman. Each has their own LUT that you can load. Now we will test and document the display's native response. This will give us something to compare to after we load our 3D LUT at the end of the calibration process. The process of creating a 3D LUT using Cowman for Scratch is fast, accurate, and completely automated. Now we will go to the 3D LUT Color Cube calibration page. We will click the Calibrate Cube 3D LUT and then connect to the Cube Generator by clicking in the Display Control tab and clicking Find Display. We will select SpectraCal as a manufacturer and Cube Generator as the model. Then click the Connect button. We will pick 3DL and 17 points as the 3D LUT specifications. Now click the AutoCal button. Under the Cube 3D LUT settings, select Lightning LUT as the calibration type and select Limit Calibration to Reference White because we have Simpty range selected in Scratch. Our Lightning LUT feature allows us to create a full 3D LUT from only 65 to 75 reads. This is primarily designed for displays that are very linear and don't have any RGB coupling issues. The process is completely automated. Scratch generates the patterns, Cowman takes the measurements, and makes a calibration LUT. Now that all the readings are done, Cowman is calculating the 3D LUT. Click OK, and then go into Scratch and load the LUT by clicking on the Load button. When you use Cowman to create a 3D LUT, the file gets saved in Cowman's LUT folder. If you saved the 3D LUT to a different file path, navigate to that file now. Select the 3D LUT you would like to load. Click the Apply LUT button to apply the LUT back to the pattern generator so we are able to verify the LUT. The LUT is now applied to the SDI output. Now we are verifying the calibration using the same measurements and color patches as we did on the test document display step. Now that the measurements are done, you can see that the Color Checker Max Delta E2000 is only 2.8 and the Color Checker Average DE2000 is 1.2. Our Gamma Delta L Max is 1, and our Gamma Delta L Average is 0.6. Delta E is a formula we use to describe the color error. The lower number, the better. The before calibration was Color Checker Max DE 2000 of 8.9, and Color Checker Average DE 2000 of 6. The Gamma Delta L Max was 4.2, and the Gamma Delta L Average was 2.2. With our 3D LUT calibration, we have reduced the Max Delta E 2000 by 6.1, and the average Delta E2000 of 4.8. And this is how our Cowman for Scratch plugin works with our new Lightning LUT feature. To find out more about Cowman for Scratch, click the link.